This video will be divided into two parts. First, if you're in the operating room and you're missing a parathyroid gland, how do you know if it's a superior gland or an inferior gland? And then the second part would be, now you're missing what you know as a superior gland or an inferior gland. Now, where do you look for? We are in the operating room and you're doing a parathyroidectomy. You have been able to locate three, can't find the fourth. Now the question is, which one is missing? Is it the superior or the inferior? Now just because it looks inferior to you, doesn't mean that you're missing a superior parathyroid gland. You have to see the relation of the gland in respect to the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Now this is the side view. This is your trachea, uh, the esophagus, and this is your thyroid gland. So the superior one is located posterior to the recurrent laryngeal nerve, and the inferior one is located anterior to the recurrent laryngeal nerve. Now this is the front view. Again, this is the thyroid and this is the recurrent laryngeal nerve. The superior one would be located behind the recurrent laryngeal nerve and a little bit lateral, whereas the inferior one would be anterior to it and a little medial. So whenever you see a missing pathogen gland, the first step to locate is which one is missing. Is it the superior or the inferior? So now that we know we are looking for a superior pathogen gland, for example, look on the opposite side, match it. If you cannot locate the pathogen gland that is missing, look in the TE groove, the retroesophageal place, mobilize the esophagus, open the carotid sheet, it may be there. The next place to look for it would be in the thyroid gland. So it could be an intrathyroidal parathyroid adenoma or a gland. For that, you have to perform an intraoperative ultrasound. Do not do a blind thyroid lobectomy or a thyroidectomy without localizing it in the operating room. For the lower parathyroid gland that I'm missing, I would do the same thing. The other thing to be added for the lower is, however, that after you have done looking at the TE uh, groove, the paraesophageal space, uh, the thyroid gland, I will look in the thymus to see if the parathyroid gland is there. The lower ones are more likely to be in the thymus. So I would retract it into the neck from the chest and do a, a thymectomy. Now, if the thymus gland is large and you need to do a sternotomy, do not do a sternotomy without a localization study. That's an important aspect to remember. Now, if you cannot find it, I would close the patient uh, and then he or she needs a, a operative planning in terms of the fact that it needs a preoperative scan, such as a 4D CT scan or an MRI to localize the missing pathetic gland.